So while the Lakers have made some amazing moves this offseason already, they are still rumored to be looking for one more center to help take some pressure off of Davis during the regular season. This makes sense as the Lakers ran two traditional centers during the regular season in McGee and Howard, and while Harrell and Morris can both definitely play center, it does seem like LA wants one more solid option and a more traditionally sized big. One option could be Hassan Whiteside, and he could provide the Lakers with more depth at center and play about 15 to 20 minutes per game in a McGee type of role. So, let's go over how Whiteside would fit with the Lakers and the likelihood of this signing to occur. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really appreciate all your guys' support. So Whiteside had a very good season with the Blazers last year, averaging over 15 points, 13 rebounds, and almost 3 blocks per game. He was a solid finisher at the rim for Portland, but he did have a habit of missing some bunnies at times. The Lakers will help discipline Whiteside more and tell him to finish his shots at the rim with more power, and I really think this is what is key for him. He needs to be more disciplined on both ends of the floor, and he needs to set stronger screens instead of doing a weakish one and then slipping to the rim. If Whiteside can just play Howard's role in offense as a guy who can set good screens and finish at the rim well, he could be a huge plus for the Lakers offense especially with his solid hook shot as well. However, do not expect much else from him on offense, as while he may be a good jump shooter in practice, he cannot consistently hit these shots from outside the paint in-game. On defense, it comes down to discipline here too, as Whiteside has all the tools to be a good defender. He's a very good rim protector, don't get me wrong, but do not let the stats fool you, as he does still chase for blocks at times and this comprises his defensive positioning in just protecting the rim at times. Sometimes it's more effective to just contest up and down instead of chasing that block, as forcing the opponent into a difficult shot is much more likely to lead to a good defensive play, instead of potentially leaving holes in the defense trying to get your hand on the ball and making that highlight play. He certainly has the potential to be a very good defender in the NBA, but you have to keep in mind he will also get burned when getting switched out onto the perimeter as well. Overall, I think signing Whiteside to a minimum contract if he's willing to accept it will be a very good move. He provides the Lakers with another big body in case someone gets injured, and I think LeBron and AD can help keep him in check and improve his game. We'll see what happens, but it's going to be interesting to see who the Lakers sign with their final roster spots. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit my video if you want to talk about basketball or business, just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try it back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below, do you think the Lakers should sign Hassan Whiteside? Let me know as I do your comments and definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So with that being said, once again, thank you guys all for watching and hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.